Hi everybody, my name is Lindsay and I have a short and sweet seated stretch routine for you to try today. So go ahead and find a comfortable position with your feet flat on the ground. We're gonna relax our hands on top of our knees and you can gently take that chin and drop it down to the chest. Begin to swing it across your chest like a pendulum, releasing that upper back and lower neck. Make sure as you do this to not hunch over. Keep your back nice and straight. You're going to slow down the motion and then take your gaze down towards your right armpit. Relaxing here. If you'd like to elongate the stretch, you can tuck that left hand underneath your left glute. And then take this right hand gently across the left side of your head, and you can pull down slightly. Take a deep inhale here, keeping that chest nice and open. And maybe on the exhale, you pull even further down into the armpit. One more inhale here. And on the exhale, begin to release both hands. Gently caress your chin across your chest again, swinging like a pendulum. And on your last swing, take your gaze down towards your left armpit. You may find that this side is tighter than the other. Again, if you would like to elongate the stretch, you can tuck your right hand underneath your right glute. And take the left fingertips across the right side of the head. On the next inhale, really open up that chest. And maybe on the exhale, pull your head down further into your own head. One. More inhale here, and on the exhale, release both hands very slowly and wrap your chin across your chest. Begin to slow down this motion. You can chin tuck in neutral and lift one vertebrae at a time until we're looking forward straight ahead. Begin to roll those shoulders back and down. You're going to lift your arms out to your side with me. Palms are facing up towards the ceiling. You can Grab onto your shoulders with your hands, and we're going to take those elbows in and around, trying to touch the elbows to one another, just warming up that synovial fluid in your shoulders. All right, one more this way, and then switch the other way, out and around, opening that upper back up, and the front of your chest. And slowing down the motion, you can release the arms straight out and then lift them up above the head. Take an inhale, reaching nice and tall, and exhale, come down to the sides. Go ahead and scoot yourself back to the back of your chair, but you're still nice and upright. You're going to take a deep inhale and just shrug those shoulders up towards those ears, lifting your spine to the ceiling, and exhale, keep it at this height, but release the shoulders. Inhale again, elongating that spine even taller. Exhale, releasing the shoulders, but not the tallness in your spine. One more. Inhale, sit nice and tall, and exhale, release. If you have any lower back pain or any neck issues, feel free to cut this out of your routine. But we're going to take our arms up and above our head. We're going to do a baby back bend. So I want you to really make sure your core is tight. And we're just going to slightly lean back, looking up at the ceiling, and then exhale, coming forward. Again, inhale, looking back, exhale, forward, inhale, back. And if you'd like to open up your chest a little bit more, you can extend your arms out to the side into a field goal pose. Exhale, coming forward. And last one, inhale, reaching. Exhale, coming forward. Good job. Roll out those shoulders again. 
We're going to do a seated twist. So make sure your feet are nice and planted. Scoot to the front of your chair if you need to. You're going to slowly turn to your right, twisting, and you can push on the outside of that right leg, not on the knee, but more on the thigh. You can take this right hand that will be the back, and you can hug the back of the chair, or you can keep it nice and long rest. Just keep looking towards the right side of the room. Inhale into the posture. Exhale, softening the tension. Inhale, maybe twist a little bit deeper. Soften and one more. If you're there today, you can take this left hand and then pull gently on that arm, getting you deeper into that stretch. Very, very gently until you come to facing forward. Good. Inhale, rising up above the heart and the head. Exhale, turning to your left this time. Right hand goes on the outside of the left leg, left hand stays on the handle. And you're going to twist very gently towards the left. A little bit deeper and exhale, releasing the tension in your legs, your neck, your back. On your next inhale, if you are there today. You can take your right hand along the handle as well, twisting the knee just up the back and move that turn back to the chair and move back to the back wall. One more in the hand and the exhale. Slowly crawl yourself back to neutral. Shake it out a little bit. We're going to take our arms and we're going to give our forearms a nice break and our wrists. So extend your right arm out in front of you, fingertips facing down. You can gently pull down with your left fingertips on your right. Take an inhale, and on the exhale, switch. Left fingertips down, right pulls them back. Inhale, exhale, switch. We're going to alternate. Inhaling, pulling. Exhale, switching. Back and forth. So this is a really good one to do throughout the day. If it, you're at your desk a lot, Right, one more on each side and release. Go ahead. Uh, display those fingers out towards the front. You're going to take your thumb to your pinky and then your thumb to your ring, thumb to middle, thumb to forefinger, back and forth. Pulsing. And last round all the way through and release. All right, go ahead and grab on top of those hip bones very gently. And we're gonna work on some pelvic tilts. So you're gonna shift your body weight forward and you're gonna feel the nice arch in your back. You're gonna feel that curve. And then exhale, you're gonna tuck under, rounding. Inhale, tilt forward, exhale, Posteriorly tilt, tucking. Inhale, anteriorly tilting. Exhale, posteriorly tilting. Back and forth and around the pace, loosening up that pelvic floor. These are really good to do on a exercise ball as well. So if you have one at home, feel free to do that. You can do them also on the ground bridge position. Right, do five more and then we'll get started with a few marches. So I want you to find your neutral spine which is in between both the tilt forward and the tilt back. Once you find a nice neutral so you have a natural curve in the spine, tuck that belly button and imagine it's being pulled up towards the rib cage. Keeping nice and stable, you're going to lift one leg at a time up and down. It's a very small motion. Just working on that lower core, lifting you up and down. I like to hold on to my hips, make sure I'm not shifting my body weight too much.
And if you start to feel your back give out, press it around. Again, keep that belly button nice and tight. We're almost there. And release. Good job. Do a few rocks back and forth for me again. Of that pelvis tilting. All right, we're going to work down on the lower body even more. So go ahead and prop that heel up. Your toes are going to come towards your nose, towards your knee. Now you're going to gently lean forward enough to feel a good stretch in the back of the legs, so your hamstrings. Again, keep those toes lifted up. Come to where you feel a good stretch, no, no pain, and do not walk out the knee. So if you have any issues with the knee, pain in the knee with the stretch, send your butt back even deeper into the chair and then lean forward. One more deep inhale here with me. And wherever you are, climb up that leg very slowly, coming back to a seated position. Point and flex those toes. We're going to do a few ankle rolls on the side, too. So going out clockwise and then counterclockwise. Good. Out. All right, other side. Prop up that heel, toes to the nose. Again, if you have any issues, or pain when you walk out that knee, which you shouldn't be doing anyway, but scoot back into that chair, give it a little bit more cushion to that knee, and then just lean forward from the hips. There you go. And if you need to hold on to the handles on the chair, those toes nice and flexed towards you, inhaling and exhaling, relaxing into the stretch. Take one more deep inhale here and exhale, slowly crawl up the leg. Point and flex those toes for me. And begin circles once again, clockwise. And counterclockwise. Take some little motion, plant that left foot back down. We're going to work on the back muscles. So there's this. Back muscle it tends to get a lot of people issues called the quadratus lumborum, and it's right in like the lower middle back area. So we're going to reach up and over with your right arm first across your body, and I really want you to focus on keeping this right hip down. It should feel nice pull on the back, maybe even in the side body. I want you to really breathe into this position. With your inhale, imagine opening up that tension along the back and the rib cage. Keeping your chest nice and open. Don't crunch down to the left side. One more inhale, reaching as far as you can, keeping that hip down. And then exhale, slowly coming down right hand onto the handle. We're gonna do a few twists in between, so turn to one side, and then the other, back and forth. One more to each side, and relax. Now we're gonna work on the left QL. So go ahead and take a deep inhale, reaching up and over, and exhale, relaxing the side body. Again, I'm going to take my right hand and push up on my left hip to remind me to keep nice and planted. So every inhale, keeping that chest open, I'm going to send that energy to the back side and the side body, opening up in those tight muscles. 
reaching as deep as you'd like without pinching on the right side. Take one more deep inhale, reaching as far as you can with me. And on the exhale, slowly coming back down, we're gonna do a few twists back and forth. So I'm actually gonna have you do a few exercises standing up as well. Can't hurt to get out of your chair. Um, but you're going to use the chair still. So go ahead and take it out in front of you. I'm going to show you the front view and the side view. Um, if you don't have a chair, you can use your desk that you've been working at or a counter. You're going to put your hands gently along the top. You're going to back your feet up enough to where you're almost doing a child's pose standing. And you're going to take your head in between your arms, trying not to flex your lower back. So you want to keep everything still in alignment. What it'll look like from the side. Shift back. Everything nice and flat. If you have any issues extending through your legs, you can do a soft bend in your knees. Just breathe in this posture into your upper back. Exhale, relaxing. Inhale, take the breath from the rib cage to the chest to the throat. Exhaling back the same way. Inhale deep from the rib cage through the chest, through the throat. And one more here on your exhale. Gently, slowly walk yourself back. To a standing position and relax. Good. I'm actually going to have you do another stretch standing up. So we're going to do um, one where you reach across your body again. Same muscle. It's going to be that little ear to ear. So you can take your chair, hold on to the side. And I'm going to have you cross your right leg in front. Right hand is on the chair or the counter. Left arm reaches up and over. And you're going to take your left hips and shift them to the side. You're still going to feel a nice stretch in the lower left side of your back. This one, I also feel it along my hip, a little bit more in my side body. If this bothers your legs, just do a soft bend into them. Moving into the posture. And exhale, releasing tension. One more breath with me here. And exhale, slowly coming back down. Take it out. And then go ahead and switch. So now left side is closest to the chair, counter, or table. Right leg is in the front. <laughs> so you're going to reach up and over with your right arm. And your right hip is going to go out towards the side, reaching across. Again, you can give a soft bend in your knees. Make sure to keep your chest nice and open. One more deep inhale with me here. Reach, reach, reach. And begin to exhale slowly, coming back neutral. Shake it out. And come meet me seated once again. We're going to do seated eagle. With the upper body. So you're going to take your right arm and you're going to swing it underneath of the left. Grab onto the left thumb. 
crisscross those arms if you have them today. Go ahead and just keep it in an, a nice X position. You're going to slowly begin to shift your arms up towards your head, and your back is going to round just slightly so that you feel a pull in the upper back. Relaxing your head into it. Just allow your hands and arms to cradle your head. One more inhale, elongate that spine, reaching up towards the ceiling, and exhale, slowly coming out of the position. Shake it out, twist it out a few times, just your upper back, back and forth. And then we're going to switch. So, the left arm is going to go underneath, and you're going to grab onto your right thumb. Keeping the, the arms parallel with the body. Begin to shift them straight up towards the ceiling and you can round slightly at your upper back, allowing your head to just settle into your elbows and arms if you'd like. As you breathe in, you may feel the expansion of the upper back, feeling a pull along there, and exhale, releasing. Inhale, expanding. So release. Take two more breaths here at your own pace. And on your last exhale, begin to slowly release your arms. Shake it out. Give me a few twists back and forth. And I've got one more for you. We're going to do a cat camel or cat cow. You probably heard it as. You can do seated. Uh, we're going to do both versions, seated and standing. You can also do quadruped. We're not using the yoga mat today. So go ahead and place your hands along your thighs. As you inhale, you're going to round that back, shoulders up towards your ears, and you can tuck that tailbone underneath. And then exhale, you're going to look up towards the ceiling, extending through the back. Inhale, rounding. Exhale, extending. Inhale, rounding. Tucking that tailbone. Exhale, extending, tilting your pelvis forward. Inhale, round. Exhale, extend. Inhale, round. Exhale, extend. And last one. Inhale, round. Exhale. All right, we're going to do the same motion standing up. All right, so gently come into a nice soft bend in your knees, putting no pressure of your hands into your legs. You're just going to gently sit there so you can focus on squeezing your glutes to hold you in this um, bent position. Again, as you inhale, you're going to round that back, exhale. Rounding with the inhale. Exhale, extending, looking up. Inhale, rounding. Exhale, extend. Inhale, round. Extend. Last one. Inhale, round. Exhale, extend. And relax. So there is your seated stretch, uh, work from home kind of routine. Try to incorporate that into your day a little bit. Give your body some rest and some relaxation. So hopefully we'll see you in some of our classes on the portal and have a great week.